Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to encrypt text in Java using uh, Skittily Cypher. So before we can start, I need to tell you some things about what is Skittily Cypher. So Skittily is just a tool used to perform a transposition cipher consisting of a cylinder with a strip of parchment wound around it, it on which is written a message. So it was used long time ago by the ancient Greeks and the Spartans in particular uh, in order to communicate on the battlefield and in military campaigns and so on. So the recipient of the cipher message uses a rod of the same diameter on which the parchment is wrapped to read the message. So the diameter is really a key for reading a message. So suppose the rod allows one to write four letters around it in a circle and five letters down the side of it. So if we have a message like help me I am under attack and we wrap the, uh, the, le the letter around this rod we would write it like this and then when we unwind the wrapped parchment from the rod the message would be something like this so it cannot be read in order to read this message properly you would need uh, the rod with the same diameter so the this message would become this message again so help me I am under attack so this is how Skittily would look like, it's just a piece of wood with parchment wrapped around it. This is how they would wrap it. So I already made a project called Cyphers with a package called Skittily and now we'll make a class called Skittily. So new Java class and we'll call it Skittily, okay, and we will want to have the main method inside of it. Click finish. Okay. Now, first method will be method to encode plain text using Skittily cipher. So, public static string Skittily encode. And this method will have two parameters. First parameter will be the plain text itself, so string plain text. And second method will be the well, the number of rows that will rep represent the diameter of the rod. So integer number of rows. Okay. So first thing make a new string called encoded text string encoded text is equal to empty string so we'll use this string as a return value after this we need to make sure that the number of rows must be between number 2 and the length of the plain text minus 1 so why is that? Well, if we have a number of rows that is greater or equal to the plain text length, the encoded text will be exactly as a plain text. And if we have number of rows, one or less, or like zero or negative, uh, encoding will, cannot be done. There would be an error. So you cannot have a piece of wood with diameter of zero or or like uh, minus I don't know five or something like that. And if you have just diameter of one, you could write one letter uh, on the size of the rod, and there will be no reason to use that because you will get also plain text. Okay, so we need an if statement, so if number of rows is greater or equal 
to plain text length or number of rows is less or equal to zero then we will return just plain text okay and if this is not true so else else now we need to make sure that the plain text's length divided by the number of rows gives us a whole number so remainder must be zero so plain text by modulus of number of rows must be zero and if it's not we'll just add more empty spaces characters to plain text string so while plain text length modulus number of rows is not equal to zero we will keep adding space character okay empty space character so when this while loop ends we will need to calculate the number of columns so integer number of columns is equal to plain text length divided by the number of rows okay and now we need to make a nested for loops so for integer y i is equal zero i is less than number of columns and i plus plus and inside of this for loop we'll make another for loop so nested for loop integer y is equal to i y is less than plain text length and y plus equals number of columns now inside of this nested for loop we're going to add characters to our encoded string so encoded text plus equals plain text char at index of y okay and after this else statement just write return encoded text and this is uh, a method to encode the string using Skittly cipher. So in order to check this if it's work, if it works, we will make a new string in our main method and just call it whatever you like it. I'll just call it text is equal to this is some um, text. Okay. And let me make I'll make just another string called encoded and this will be this encoded string will have value from the method skittily encode and as a parameters we'll use text string and the number of rows let's say four okay now let me print this system dot out dot print line and print encoded save this we'll run it and now we'll see that this text is scrambled you cannot read it okay in order to read it we need to make another method to decode this encoded string so this method is going to be shorter method because it will use the skittly encode method so public static string skittily the code parameters will be also like in the skittily encode method so we'll have string encoded string and 
the key for decoding is actually the number of rows that represents the diameter of the rod so integer number of rows okay now let's make string decoded string that will be our return value and it will be for now empty string okay now we need to make to get number of columns so integer number of columns is equal to encoded string length divided by the number of rows okay and decoded string is equal to and now we will call this kitly encode kitly encode and as the parameters we will just put encoded string and the number of columns okay and now we will just return decoded string okay now in the main method we will create decoded string from the skittily decode skittily decode and as the parameters we'll put encoded and the number of rows will also be 4 because it needs to be the same as the number of rows we used to encode the string so let's just copy this line of code and put here decoded save it run it and as you can see we get the decoded string as it is but as you can see there are few empty spaces because we added them in this kitly encode uh, method so in order to get rid of these empty spaces we just need to use the trim method after this skittly encode so dot trim okay save run it and now there is no empty spaces after this so this is how you use kitaly cipher in java thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video